During severe weather, many people use generators, but not everybody knows how to properly operate them. Twin States News' Denisha Branham spoke with the Public Safety Director for tips on how to safely use a generator. Hurricane season peaks in the month of September. Although Mississippi has been off to a great start, that doesn't mean it's time to let your guard down. During a power outage, many families may use a generator to help maintain a sense of normalcy. It is highly recommended that you do not use a generator indoors, even inside your carport, even if the windows and the doors are open. It is uh, recommended to use the generator approximately 20 feet away from the inside of your home so that your home doesn't get filled with carbon monoxide. It's also a good recommendation to have carbon monoxide detectors even in the home, even with the generator running outside, especially if the doors and windows will be open. Proper maintenance of a generator is crucial so that it will be reliable during a time of need. Stephen says knowing about generators and how to safely use them is always important. Uh, it's a good idea to have your generator serviced. Don't wait until the storm is here. Go ahead and have that generator serviced. Be sure that you have plenty of fuel for your generator and have, have it so that it is in good working order. Stephen says that some of the most common mistakes many people make when using a generator is using it indoors, overloading it, and poor maintenance. When you overload the generator, it's not going to work properly and it's going to constantly cause you issues with the equipment that you're trying to operate. And also, poor maintenance. People just have a, a tough time maintaining those generators. They sit for a long period of time without being used. So you just need to be sure to have those serviced properly so that they're in good working order when you do need them. Bonnie Shabranum, Twin States News, Meridian.